Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Greta Dubin has ended up at the same party on Monday night in what had the potential to be a very awkward encounter. The Duchess of Sussex arrived unexpectedly at the British Fashion Awards in London wearing a gorgeous black one-shouldered Givenchy gown. She came to present an award to Claire Waite Keller, who was the artistic director of Givenchy and designed her iconic wedding dress. Ms. Keller won the British Women's Wear Designer of the Year. Meghan arrived on the stage at the Royal Albert Hall in front of the whole audience with the spotlight shining down on her. Her appearance will have been almost impossible for Cressida, who dated Prince Harry from 2012 to 2014, to miss. It is unknown whether the two ran into each other later in the evening. However, there is a chance any awkwardness is all forgotten, given that Cressida was actually a guest at Meghan and Harry's royal wedding in May. The Duchess of Sussex was a natural choice to present Ms. Keller's award. Often seen as a style icon, the former actress highlighted the talent of the designer when she wore her dress as the world watched her marry into the royal family. Meghan cradled her baby bump as she addressed the audience after her dramatic entrance at the awards show. She said, It is such an honor to be here celebrating British fashion and British fashion designers in my new home of the UK. As all of you in this room know, we have a deep connection to what we wear. Sometimes it's very personal and sometimes it's emotional. But for me, this connection is rooted in really being able to understand that it's about supporting and empowering each other, especially as women. In her acceptance speech, Ms. Keller threw praise on the Duchess, whom she got to know well during their time together. She said, This woman is so amazing. I got to know Meghan on such a personal level. To have someone like that trust you on such a personal moment in their life. Fresh from reports of a bitter feud with her sister-in-law Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton has returned to what she does best, showing off her nurturing side at a British children's hospital. The Duchess of Cambridge, 36, was named as the new patron of Evelina London Children's Hospital ahead of her trip there today with husband Prince William, according to The Sun. The role will give the mum of three the opportunity to champion medical professionals and shine a light on their work supporting youngsters in their early years. Along with Prince William, she joined the children and their families to take part in Christmas activities at the hospital, which marks its 150th anniversary next year. Marion Ridley, director of Evelyn London, said, The Duchess shares our passion for giving children and young people the very best start in life and Her Royal Highness's support will help champion the life-saving care our staff are providing to our patients. It is a huge pleasure to welcome the Royal Highnesses back to our hospital and we are absolutely delighted that they are able to join us as we begin to celebrate our milestone 150th anniversary. Evelyn London provides comprehensive health services to children and families from before birth, throughout childhood and into adult life. Prince William first visited the charity in 1994 with his brother Prince Harry, when the pair were 12 and 10, alongside their mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. In 2016, the Duke reopened the newly refurbished St. Vincent's Centre in Victoria, central London. The appearance came amid rumors of a rift between Meghan and Kate, suggesting the pair fell out at least a year ago. There have been countless articles quoting sources who claim Kate was in tears after a tense bridesmaid fitting with her daughter Princess Charlotte, three, and Meghan earlier this year, that Kate was left furious over the way Meghan was talking to her staff, and that Prince Harry had been unhappy with his brother, Prince William, last Christmas for refusing to roll out the red carpet for his new fiancée. Adding weight to the reports was the sudden announcement last week that Harry and Meghan, who are expecting their first child next year, wouldn't be taking up the offer to live in luxurious apartment next door to William and Kate in Kensington Palace, and would instead move to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Castle. Meghan Markle is expecting her first royal baby and the Duchess of Sussex has drawn attention for proudly holding her blossoming bump in public. 
Meghan revealed her growing baby bump on Monday night as she stepped out for the British Fashion Awards. The mother-to-be cradled her baby bump with both hands as she took to the stage to present an award to her wedding dress designer Claire Whitkeller. But the move prompted some negative comments on social media questioning why Meghan is always holding her bump. However an expert has revealed that Meghan's loving pose could be because she is feeling protective of her unborn baby. Speaking to Female, Liz Halliday, deputy head of midwifery at Private Midwives, said, at public events, Meghan may feel more protective of her baby and thus cradle her bump more than usual. Mothers may feel that stroking their bump calms the baby in some situations and during public events Meghan may be either consciously or subconsciously attempting to do this. And another expert added that the move could be positive for the baby. Catherine Graves founder of KG Hypnobirthing, said, Megan is practicing responsive natural parenting and touching, speaking and cradling her bump will be very beneficial for the baby. At the glitzy Royal Albert Hall event Megan presented the Women's Wear Designer of the Year Award to M's Wade Keller, Artistic Director of Givenchy. The 37-year-old wore one-shouldered black Givenchy gown which showed off her prominent bump. Taking center stage at the event, the Duchess held one or both hands on her stomach as she presented the award. In a speech Meghan said, It's such a pleasure to be here, celebrating British fashion and British designers, in my new home in the UK. It comes after Meghan revealed her pregnancy in October as she landed in Sydney for a Commonwealth tour with Prince Harry, just five months after the pair married. The parents-to-be visited Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga with Meghan already starting to cradle her baby bump. And Meghan only has a few more months to go before her little one is due in spring 2019. Ahead of the birth, Meghan and Harry are moving from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. People are putting two and two together and getting 20 with the royal rumour mill in complete overdrive. The suggested feud between the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, and the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, is getting lots of attention at the minute. A spokesperson for Buckingham Palace shut down the possibility of a rift between the pair but that hasn't stopped people from talking about his topic and there's also more speculation relating to Meghan and the likelihood of her having twins. The Duchess of Sussex was pictured at a carol service last week and her baby bump was more pronounced than in previous public appearances, leading people to say that her bump has now dropped. Meghan's growing baby bump has led people to speculate that she's due to give birth sooner than people had predicted and now royal fans have suggested there is another possibility that she's having twins. Now, it's a little far-fetched to be fair so we're going to be taking this speculation with a pinch of salt. One obstetrician has spoken out to say that an increase in bump size does not automatically mean twins are on the way. In conversation with New Idea New York-based Amos Grunbaum explained. A pregnant woman's increased weight and size cannot be used as a definitive indicator of twin pregnancy but many twin mothers say their quickly growing bellies tip them off that something may be different with the pregnancy. Just before embarking on their royal tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand, the Duke and Duchess announced that they were expecting their first child in spring 2019. No further information has been shared but that hasn't stopped people from trying to work out Meghan's exact due date. Meghan Markle could receive a new global honour after it emerged the Duchess of Sussex has been shortlisted for a very coveted new title. Meghan, a former Hollywood actress, gave up her life as an actress in TV drama suits when she married Prince Harry in May of this year. Her story is a perfect fairy tale, with the last year seeing her flourish from American TV actress to style icon and a member of the world's most famous royal family. Meghan and Harry's royal wedding entertained millions around the world and renewed interest in the British monarchy and its new young hopefuls. She received the title of the Duchess of Sussex, an official title that marked her entry into the British royal family.
Meghan even received her own crest to accompany her brand new royal title after marrying the son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana. The Duchess of Sussex chose two golden rays across a blue background to represent the Californian sunshine and Pacific Ocean off the coast of her home state. The coat of arms also has three quills represent communication and the power of words. But now Meghan, who is pregnant with her first child with Prince Harry, has now been nominated for a new title, Time Person of the Year for 2018. It follows a life-changing 12 months that saw her marry one of the most eligible bachelors in the world, and create an award-winning cookbook that raises money for the survivors of the Grenfell Tower fire in 2017. Before her life as a royal family member, Meghan was known as an advocate of women's rights and positioned herself as an activist, inspired by powerful women such as Diana, the Princess of Wales. She also starred in a UN Women campaign, believed to have been filmed in 2015 and was also nominated for the Choice Style Icon Award at the Teen Choice Awards in Los Angeles. But now, the Duchess of Sussex is up against stiff competition from US President Donald Trump, Russian President Vladimir Putin and murdered Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi, who are all vying for the renowned title which began in 1927 before be renamed in 1999. Previous winners of Time Person of Year include the Queen Elizabeth II in 1952, under Woman of the Year Dash Winston Churchill in 1940 and 1949, Martin Luther King in 1963, Vladimir Putin in 2007, Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012 and Donald Trump in 2016 and noticeably Wallace Simpson, who caused quite a stir for the British royal family when King Edward VIII abdicated the throne in order to marry the American divorcee, was named Woman of the Year in 1936. The 2018 Person of the Year will be announced on Tuesday at 7 a.m. local time on the NBC Network's Today Show.